Hi. This is the circle of fifths. It is the simplest way and easiest way for you to learn about music. If you use it, things will be much easier and clearer. The circle of fifths is the basic pattern for all music. And from this, we can deduce and work out the intervals, the key signatures, the scales, the chords, everything. So in this video, I'm going to show you what the circle of fifths is and some of the ways in which you can use it. So the simplest way to build the circle of fifths is by starting with C. C most people start with because it has no sharps or flats and we'll come to that later. But if we go five notes above the note of C, C, D, E, F, G, five notes, that's a fifth, C to G. And so it's called the circle of fifths. So if we start with C and repeat that pattern, we end up back at C. And so we've come in a circle. And so that's why it's called the circle of fifths. Now from that pattern, everything else can be worked out. You can read off intervals, you can read off key signatures, scales, chords, chord progressions, everything works from that circle. So again, the circle of fifths is the notes arranged with the interval of a fifth between all of those notes. So therefore the circle of fifths. And so I'd now like to talk about intervals. So an interval is the distance between two notes. And as I said earlier, C to G is a fifth. And the interval is important, or intervals in general are important, because intervals are how we build chords. And we'll talk about chords later, but for now we need to learn about what the interval is. Now the circle of fifths shows us this very conveniently. If we simply rotate the circle to the note that we're looking for, and in this case it's C, C is now the, what we call the root note, or the bottom note of the interval. And then from this we can read off what the interval is between all the other notes. So C is the first note here. And from C to G, it tells us is a perfect fifth. From C to F, it tells us is a perfect fourth. And so the perfect intervals are next to one another. And that's important and we'll talk about that later. All the other notes, therefore, are shown and they're relative intervals. So C to D is a major second or a tone and it tells us that. So no matter which note we line up with our bottom note here or our first note, so here we've got D. So D is the first note. So a perfect fifth above D is A. And all the intervals, no matter which note you have there, you're able to read off. So intervals are the distance between two notes, and they are said to either be perfect, major, or minor intervals. So, as I said earlier, C to G is a perfect fifth, because there are five notes between it. And similarly, C to F is a perfect fourth, because there are four notes, C, D, E, F. An octave, C to C, is an octave, eight notes. And that's also a perfect interval. The other intervals are major or minor intervals. And they can all be read by looking at the circle of fifths. So here we have C, which is the first note that we're starting with. And so C to G is a perfect fifth. C to F is a perfect fourth. These notes here, C to D, C to A, E or B, are all the major intervals. And so they're grouped together here. The other notes over this side, C to B flat, C to E flat, C to A flat, C to D flat. These other notes are minor intervals. So C to B flat, for example, is a minor seventh. And they're grouped over here. There is one odd one out, which is down here. And uh, this is called an augmented or a diminished interval. Uh, but we can come to that later. The point is that they're in groups. Perfect, 
right next to the root note or the first note that you're starting with, in this case C, and the others, the major on this side and the minor on this side. And so, whichever note you want to know about, let's say D, you just swivel the D, line it up with your first note, your tonic note, or the root note, all of these words mean the same thing, and you read off what the interval is. So D to A is a perfect fifth. D to G is a perfect fourth. Perfects are up here, major intervals are here, so D to E is a major second. And your minor intervals are here. So D to F, it says is a minor third. So any interval you can work out, and intervals are really important for you because they are the basis for building chords, uh, and they are the basis for understanding cadences as well. So it's really important that you learn intervals and you have to do this for theory exams, for all of the uh, school music exams, uh, and the circle of fifths will help identify intervals and learn them a lot quicker and a lot easier. So the circle of fifths is an arrangement of the 12 notes that we use in music with a perfect fifth between them. And we can read off all the other intervals, scales, chords, everything that we use in music from that basic pattern. Today we talked about intervals and that the perfect intervals are up here, major intervals are here, and minor intervals are here. You can buy a copy of the Circle of Fifths from bigsound.co.uk. I hope you found this video useful and uh, please check out our other videos.